Hi guys, in this video, you're gonna learn how to customize your Shopify product page using PageFly. You can find this app on Shopify App Store or follow the link on the description of this video. Now you can see, this is a default Shopify product page, which is very simple. And this is the product page made with PageFly. More information. Now let's go ahead and learn more about how you can do it. Here I have the PageFly admin. I'm gonna start with clicking on this button and give the page a name. Either of this is okay. Now select the product you want to apply this template for. And then select the template you want to start with, I want to start with mine. Okay, so PageFly offer user with many elements and editing mode. So to learn more about how to use this setting, you can go to help.pagefly.io to learn more about element section or to watch tutorials about how to use the app. Now I'm going to recreate this page so that you can have an overview of how the app works. You can drag and drop everything. So here you have the settings for product title, which is the name of the product, price button. Now I'm going to edit the color of the product name. Oops. As you can see, this is the setting for text. To change the button color, you gotta press the color here. I can furthermore customize the look and feel of the button by editing, editing this parameter. Hmm. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give some more information about the product so that user can, so that customer can understand more about the product that they are viewing. I'm going to add a new section.
just to be quick, I'm gonna copy everything here. Oops. See like a font color text. Seems good. Now, as you can see, setting for everything is available here in this right hand panel from text alignment to font family font size I'm going to change the background color of the whole row. Okay. And the text color. Okay. So let's move on to the next section. As you can see, this is the tab. You have different information in different tab. So in page fly, I'm gonna add. A new tab here. You can edit this, the name of the tab one, tab two, tab three here in general tab I'm gonna change it manually Okay, so I have just finished copying content from this page into Okay, so I have just finished copying the content from this page into the editor Now we are gonna edit the font style and color of text here First, I'm gonna edit the color of everything As you can see the Green is the, you know, the topic color of this page. So I'm going to change it into blue. Sorry, green. And then the color of the text here. And the font style. Style of the text. Oops.
So the Chinese fabric so it looks great. I'm gonna do the same with this dice. Twenty four pixel, and here's the same. Fun family, fun style. The phone family of the host top, and I want to zoom in the text. Now it looks better. Okay, so now you wanna, you know, recommend some products so that your user can have more choice when in your store. As I am doing here, product recommendation. So to add this, I'm gonna add a product list. Drag it here. Now I wanna add a text to tell people that I'm recommending this product. And change the color font family and font size for this top. Seems good. This is the product list where you can add many products at the same time. To add four products at the same time, you're gonna go to general tab and select a collection that you want to recommend here. I'm going to, I'm going to select this collection. And also I can edit the look and feel of text and button and everything in this product list. Here's how I do it. Now, as you can see, you have settings for product list, which is the general setting item i'm gonna try it this is the color for you know here it can be the color for description but there's no description so we'll just change the color of the title you know I remember the color code and the color of the button. You can see there's in the button there are there is color for text which is here and the color for the background which is what I'm trying I'm trying to change. And the shape of the button. Okay. Mm, I would like to change the font size, the font family of the text here. Mm. How to see is better. However, it is scrambled here, so I'm gonna change the font into here. So everything is okay now. Looks quite great. Now I'm gonna save and publish the page, and we are gonna see how it's like on the live page. Now you can see. Now you can see your product page contains more information with more stunning design 
more unique so that your customer can, um, you know, have a better ex impression and also have many options when shopping in your store. And that is how I create that this page. Now, as you can see, this is just a very simple product page. You have with PageFly, you have so many other options. You can create a regular page, which is usually a landing page, home page, product page, collection page, blog pages, and passwords page. Here's a home page of my store created with fish fly and just by drag and drop lemon from this panel is super super easy to create and customize a new home page yeah. and requires no coding if you are comfortable with html and css you can add a custom code here into your page and if you are non-tech user there is no coding required to create a stunning page home page or product page it's up to you now feel free to leave a comment or send me a message or an email if you have any other question hope it helps Thank you for watching.